forgiveness. And be kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Psalm chapter 32 verse 1. But he, being full of compassion, forgave their iniquity and destroyed them not. Yea, many a time turned he his anger away and did not stir up all his wrath. Psalm chapter 78 verse 38. Thou hast forgiven the iniquity of thy people. Thou hast covered all their sin. Selah. Psalm chapter 85 verse 2. For thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive, and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Psalm chapter 86, verse 5. If thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayest be feared. Psalm chapter 130, verses 3 to 4. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, Neither will your father forgive your trespasses. Matthew chapter 6 verses 14 to 15. Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. Luke chapter 6 verse 37. And Jesus answering said unto him, Simon, I have somewhat to say unto thee. And he saith, Master, say on. There was a certain creditor which had two debtors, the one owed five hundred pence and the other fifty, and when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me therefore, which of them will love him most? Simon answered and said, I suppose that he to whom he forgave most, and he said unto him, Thou hast rightly judged. And he turned to the woman and said unto Simon, Seest thou this woman? I entered into thine house, thou gavest me no water for my feet. But she hath washed my feet with tears, and wiped them with the hairs of her head. Thou gavest me no kiss, but this woman since the time I came in hath not ceased to kiss my feet. My head with oil thou didst not anoint, but this woman hath anointed my feet with ointment. Wherefore I say unto thee, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much. But to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. And he said unto her, Thy sins are forgiven. Luke chapter 7, verses 40 to 48. Take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. And if he repent, forgive him. And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turn again to thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. Luke chapter 17, verses 3 to 4. In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7. Forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. Colossians chapter 3 verse 13. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John chapter 1 verse 9. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins, and saveth in time of affliction. Ecclesiasticus chapter 2 verse 11. Forgive thy neighbor the hurt that he hath done unto thee, so shall thy sins also be forgiven when thou prayest. One man beareth hatred against another, and doth he seek pardon from the Lord? He showeth no mercy to a man which is like himself, and doth he ask forgiveness of his own sins? Ecclesiastes chapter 28 verses 2 to 4. Thou, O Lord, according to thy great goodness, hast promised repentance and forgiveness to them that have sinned against thee, and of thine infinite mercies hast appointed repentance unto sinners, that they may be saved. Prayer of Manasseh chapter 1 verse 1.
Love ye one another from the heart. And if a man sin against thee, speak peaceably to him. And in thy soul hold not guile. And if he repent and confess, forgive him. And if he be shameless and persist in his wrongdoing, even so forgive him from the heart and lead to God the avenging. Testament of Gad, chapter 2, verses 3 and 8.